So I've always worked in the drinks industry. So through university, I always worked in bars. Then after university, I didn't want to get a proper job, so to speak. So I just ended up running bars and clubs in London and other places around the UK. Uh, so and you just kind of fall into it. You're used to working in the industry, and then when you get tired of doing all the late nights and the weekends, then you look to do something else. And I wanted to carry on with the knowledge that I'd gained from running bars and, and working with spirits and products. So I started working for Red Bull for a few years uh, in the sales department for them, going out and dealing with bars. So I was on the other side. Then after a few years, met some guys from Diageo, and they kind of said, "We need you to." work for us and so went to work for Diageo in the area we call reserve brands which is all our top luxury spirits so all our single malts our blends our kettle one vodkas tanqueray gins and things like that my least favorite which if you've ever been to one of my tastings you'll hear me say every single time is that when people think older is better and it's not necessarily the case. Age is just information of how long you've been a, aging a whiskey in a barrel for a certain amount of time. It's telling you what barrel it's been in and how long it's been in that barrel. So therefore, you will kind of roughly know the style of whiskey that you'll get. If you like a whiskey that's been interacting with a barrel for a long period of time, say 25 years, then there's nothing wrong with that. That's the style of whiskey that you like. But to turn around and say, that that is a better whiskey than, than a 10 year old Talisker, for example, it's just not the case, it's just different. You know, and it, the reason the misconception comes from is that older whiskey costs more. But the reason why it costs more is because when you're aging whiskey, you lose 2% of the barrel every year. So it's simple uh, economics that the longer you keep it, the less you have, the more your whiskey is gonna cost. Some people have their own way of drinking and they think everybody else's is wrong. You know, there's there's no right or way to it, right or wrong way to enjoy whiskey. As long as you're enjoying it, that's the main thing. So don't let anybody tell you that, that what you're doing, whether you're putting ice in it, whether it's you're putting water in it, whether you're having it in a cocktail, there's no right or wrong as long as that's how you like to enjoy it. But what, what I do always say is whenever you try a, a new whiskey for the first time, oh, I always try it neat first. Fight, suss it out, find out what, where it is, what, where it sits in my palate, and then I might go, that's I'm gonna take that whiskey neat, then I might kind of have a drop of water, I might have it with ice. So there's, always approach it for a first time neat, but don't let anyone tell you that you should do it in, in any, any certain way. You pay 5,000 shillings, which seems like a lot for a ticket for an event, but that 5,000 shillings includes a bottle of EABL whiskey, so it's a, it's a pretty good deal, and also you get barbecue and two free cocktails with that ticket. So what would happen is you come in, you register, you exchange your ticket, you pay on the door, then you'll take your bottle from the table, then you'll go over to our cask, and with Nick and I kind of hosting, you'll ceremonially pour your bottle into the cask, then sign the cask, have a few photos next to it, then go away, exchange your voucher for barbecue, get some cocktails, sit down, relax on the, on the blankets, listen to the Beat Hogs play some music. We sit around for a few hours, we enjoy ourselves. And then once we've got all the, the whiskies in the barrel, we'll start decanting into these whiskey picnic blended bottles. And then everybody will then go away with one of your whiskey picnic mugs, which also love whiskey mug as well, uh, your whiskey picnic blend in, in a bag. And that, then whenever you want to go, you can go. So I think Knowing Cedars, there'll be a few people staying here till late, late at night. But that, that's, that's the general run through of the day. It's all nice and relaxed and fun. So it's breaking down those barriers. And you go away with, with a one-off bespoke blend that, that's not going to be made ever again. This is unique for today.